Hi, this is Ivan. So today we are trying to going to try to launch the YouTube app in the Android uh, emulator. And the first thing that we need to do is to actually call up the desired capabilities. So the desired capabilities are the keys and codes that is actually encoded in APMs. They are actually sent to the clients by the APM server when we need a new automation session. They actually tell the they actually tell the all kinds of important things of examples like whether you want to click on a element or you call out the list of tags. And each of these session, these capabilities, they can actually run in various languages like Ruby, Java or Python. So let's take a look at what are these capabilities. All right. So this capability, they are actually they have general Android and iOS. So the general things are like, for example, the platform names, the platform versions, the automation names, right? The Androids probably they have the app activities, stuff like this that is pertaining to Androids, and the iOS also have got the similar uh parameters that is only pertaining to the iOS only. So you can actually find out more about the general desired capabilities under the apm.io dots and desired capabilities. Please go and read up about it. It is important to understand more about how to launch the uh, to launch the apps, how to communicate to APM server. Okay, let's start with it. Before we write any scripts, we need to actually uh, find out, uh, call the APM server and also make sure that our devices are connected or the emulator are connected. So let me check. Okay. I think it's ADB device. Devices, all right. ADB devices, okay. Not okay. So let's try emulate the okay. Let's take the first one. to call the APM server next. Alright, good. So the APM is running and the emulator is launched and now we can start to write the scripts. Okay. So I'm going to create a few objects. First, I'm going to write up. Okay. Um, the drivers is all right. Let's create a method capabilities. Driver. Okay. Next thing that we need to specify where is the app, the APK file. So make sure that you have the APK files installed in somewhere in your project folders. If you are going to use it for the emulator, use the x86 version of it. It is for your device. 
you can actually download from the Play Store. So I define the path of the APK. Uh, okay. And I call up the define the objects of desired capabilities. And And first, I'll get the device name. Okay, the device name itself for Android is not unnecessary, uh, but you got actually got to define it. But you do not need to fill in any values if you are actually connected to only one devices or only one emulator. Okay. And I define the path. Where is the APK file? Right, the location and the package name is Nates. Right, this is a package name. You can actually find out the package name from where you download. Right, you usually indicate the package name and also the uh, main activity. The main activity is where the APK file actually launches the first home page. Yeah, the first page that it launched. Okay. And finally, we will need to actually tell APM what platform is this? Is this Android or iOS? Right. Okay. okay. And last but not least, we need to wrap this all up as a, as a uh, driver, APM driver and we return the driver ok alright so a few things in here alright if we actually have the app in here already installed on the devices or emulator we do not need uh, to define where where is the app right? unless we do not have the app at all then we do it but in this case we actually have the app on the emulator so let's comment this out but however we will need the main activity uh, the app uh, main activity to launch so this is where we need to find out where is the main activity so one way to find out is uh, for each package is that we download this uh, application that is called APK Info. It is actually free on the internet. You can actually find it. All right. Okay. Let me find out the YouTube app. Okay. Detail information. And we scroll down. All right. Activities. So in here, the first one is this on com dot google dot android dot apps dot youtube dot apps application dot shell home activities so this one is a main activity this is here okay so we get it in here we put it in here so this is mandatory if we are not using the uh, location for the app all right okay so let's see okay all right we have got everything let's try and see whether we are able to launch the YouTube app Right, you see APM is running, it's responding. So yes, YouTube app has actually launched. So this is successful. So we have actually managed to launch the app by using the desired capabilities. And that's it for this session. Thank you.